Sometimes we see in the world manifestations of the divine beauty and grace and forgiveness. And that's preponderant. Sometimes we see in the world manifestations of the divine rigor and wrath. And this is one of the big differences between our understanding and, say, the Christian understanding. The Christians say, God is love, and immediately they can't explain the meningitis virus or concentration camps or whatever. And that's a major source of loss of faith amongst them. Now, we say that Allah is indeed Rahman and Rahim, and he is Al-Wadud. He has those beautiful attributes, and they do predominate. And at the end, when good and evil are finally differentiated, we will see that the Rahmah predominates over the divine wrath. Nonetheless, we also believe that Allah is Al-Jabbar, the overwhelming, Al-Muntaqim, the avenger, the, 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 the judge, Al-Hakam. And that's one reason why Islamic theology hangs together so well when confronted by the paradoxes of evil and suffering in the world, that we believe that the world is the endlessly subtle interaction of 99 names that include names of rigor as well as names of beauty.